If you've ever added a line chart in Tableau, you probably noticed the default legend uses squares instead of actual lines. So I'm going to show how to create a solid versus dotted line and make the legend display the line style correctly. I'll start off by quickly creating the line chart. So I'm going to move the year quarter into the columns and the actual and target fields into the rows. Then I'll change the mark type to a line. And I'll right click on one of our measures to make this a dual axis. I'll right click on the axis to synchronize them. And I'm also going to edit the axis to not include zero. For the first mark, I'm actually not going to change the path type because I want actuals to be a solid line. For the second mark, I'll go to path and change the path type to a dotted line. And you can see there's two options in here. Then I'll use the size slider in the all mark to make the size of the lines thicker. And I'll use the legend to edit the colors. I'll make actuals black and the targets red. Then I'll create a dashboard to add our lines worksheet. And you can see the default legend is just colored squares. To customize the legend, I'll create a new worksheet. I'll start by moving measure names into the rows. Then I'll move measure values into the marks. And I'll remove the counts of the total so we're left with just the actuals and the target, which are the two values I want displayed in the legend. Then I'll type zero twice into the columns. This first mark is going to be for our lines, so I'm going to change the mark type to a shape. Then I'll move measure names in to determine the shape. And I'll move measure names in again to determine the color. I'll use the legend to edit the shapes, and I'm going to choose this custom palette that I loaded in here, but I have another video for how to do that. And you can see I have colored lines within these shapes, but I'm actually going to choose the black line for actuals and the black dotted line for targets. And because these are just shapes, you can vary the thickness of the line and the spacing between the dots. And I'll include the link to these images in the description. So even though it chose the dotted black shape for target, you can see that it's red because it's colored by the measure names. This makes it super customizable in Tableau. For the second mark, I'll change the mark type to text. Then I'll drag measure names in and make this text. And I'll drag measure names in again to make it a color so that it matches the color of the lines. Using the size slider, I can increase the size of the text. And using text within the marks, I can make this bold so it stands out more. For formatting, I'll start by removing the headers. Then I'll format the worksheet, and for borders, I'll remove the row and column dividers. Then for lines, I'll remove the zero lines and the column grid lines. On the dashboard, I'll add our legend worksheet. I'll hide the title of the worksheet and set it to fill the entire view. But when I resize this, you can see the lines look really small. So I'll go back to the legend worksheet and I'll use the shape mark to increase the size of the lines. And now we have this solid and dotted line legend that matches the visual. This makes it way more intuitive than Tableau's default square legend.